What's going on YouTube, peoples? This is Laura. I'm uh, Dan's girlfriend. He told me to call him Dan, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that because uh, I call him Danny. So, sorry Dan. Um, anyways, getting ready to go for a ride. And uh, since Dan's down and out, I'll be filling in for him if you guys want. We're going to warm up my bike here. And uh, while she's warming up, I'll uh, tell you a little bit about her. This is my 2010 Honda CBR 600 RR. It's the Layla edition. So you get the girl's face right here. Um, Danny and I have done a lot of work on her. Um, as you can see, um, I've been in other videos before. We uh, flush mounted the turn signals here, replaced the windscreen, tinted it, put some uh, red bolts on there. I think they're pretty wicked cool. We also, I got a little uh, shifter sock here, I dig it. Um, Dan made this uh, license plate holder custom for me. It's pretty wicked cool. Sits like that, I'm sure he'll blur that out. Got an aftermarket exhaust going on here. We integrated the tail light. The, uh, the company I got the tail light from sent me the wrong one, they listed it to fit the 2010 and when I contacted them and told them that it didn't fit, they uh, they changed up their eBay site. I think it was TST Industries. I don't want to call it ghetto rigging. We didn't ghetto rig it. We customized it right here. Flipped it upside down, made it fit. I got the seat cowl going on right here. Power, power commander under there. Um, but there she is. That's my bike. Dan told me that uh, one of you guys out there liked my bike so much, you asked what it was. And then you went out and got uh, the same one. So, wicked cool. I would, uh, <coughs> I'd like to see pictures of that. Because uh, this is definitely a unique bike. Gotta stop and get some gas. Oh, let's let these bicycles, what does Dan call them, Jixers? Let them go by. Hey, Jixers. A whole family of Jixers right there. You wanna race? Let's race. Ah, I think I won. Oh, hey, I know that, Jixer. It's, uh, it's been kind of warm during the days. Um, and I had a rough day today, so I decided to go for a ride when it cooled down a little bit. After I get some gas, we're gonna talk about Dan a little bit, cause, uh, cause he's your boy, right? He's why you watch. I'm just subbing, like them substitute teachers, but uh, I'm sure y'all will be nice to me, right? Cause, uh, cause I'm the cool, the cool substitute teacher that doesn't give you homework and shit. I hope you don't mind, I cuss like a fucking sailor. If that bothers you, you should probably stop watching right now. I'll give you a few seconds to, to decide. We decided. All right, everybody who's staying with, here we go. Let's go to pump number seven here. Lucky number seven. Gotta put the good stuff, the good stuff up in here. How you doing? No complaints here. About 12 whole dollars. That'll get me about 300 miles. Ah, okay, 200, we'll say 200. So six dollars for every 100 miles. Oh, there's another Jixer. Jixer, bro. Nope, we ain't going through there. Nope, fuck that. We will go this way. Do, 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 do. Just busting a U-turn up in this bitch. You know, I think one of the reasons Dan wanted me to do this, actually I offered, because I know how important you guys are to him is uh because i talk a lot i think he gets tired but uh hey that's a typical man woman problem right a little bit about myself uh, my name is laura we're riding here on uh, beautiful saint simon's island this evening i don't know how much dan's told you about me because uh he talks about the youtube thing he's proud of it wicked proud y'all wicked proud but uh I kind of let him have his own thing, you know. I don't, I don't bug him about it, and I don't, I don't watch the videos. I'm sure I will one day, but um, it's kind of his thing, and I figure if uh, if I'm not watching, he can be candid with y'all, right? And that's, uh, I guess, that's what y'all are looking for. 
So yeah, he uh, he loves you guys. He talks about you a lot. And uh, he told me a couple times that you guys kind of dig me, which is where my decision kind of came in to, you know, offer to uh, take on the, the video recording for a little while. But he talks about you guys so much. He tells me stories. I feel like I know some of you. And I've never even seen the videos or any of it. It's fucking cool. Dan. I can't get used to that, Dan. I'm sorry. Dan. 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 I work a lot. I'm a, um... I'm a social worker by trade. I work with the retards, for lack of a better term. I kind of make it sound pretty by saying it retard. You know, put sugar on shit, right? So I work with the retards. Funny story, I was doing some visits today, you know, seeing my retards. And I was in the hood, back in the cut. The street I was on was called Project Road, if that gives you any idea where I was. And I'm just a little white girl, little white girl some muscle underneath that but you can't see it in my work attire anyways for all intents and purposes I'm a little white girl rolling through project road all them gangsters and thugs hanging out any other little old white girl might be a little nervous but uh but no not me I'm not nervous because um because I get this like this head nod you know like it's kind of like What's up, girl? It's like the respect. That's the girl that works with the retards. So I think I got a little street cred going on, and I dig it. Little white girl with street cred. Don't fuck with me. I got my homies. Oh, another thing, too. My motorcycle, I like to go fast, but I do not do wheelies. I'll play around a little bit. You know, Dan does the wheelies, and look where I got him. Uh, I don't even know if he'll put that in the video. <laughs> But uh, as you can see, I got my gloves on. You know, sometimes I don't ride with them. But uh, but ever since uh, Dan went down, I've been uh, more conscious about wearing them. And it's fucking hot. It's fucking hot out here. But uh, but I put my jacket on, all my gear, you know, because that's all that keeps me from the pavement and the misery that uh, that Dan is going through right now. We'll talk about Dan a little bit. Choo -choo. Dan's doing all right, y'all. I know you're worried about him. He said, you know, y'all are y'all are looking out and, and whatnot. And uh, he's good. He's good. He's in high spirits. I've never seen anyone go through something like him and, and be in such high spirits. It's it's wicked cool and uh, respectable, motivating, you name it. Homeboy was uh, smiling in the hospital bed. He uh, <laughs> He was laying in the hospital bed neck brace feet all jacked up he couldn't find anywhere to put his hands because they were all jacked up i know you guys have seen him he was just kind of laying there like this ah! waving smiling happy dan we'll let this girl cross oh oh which way are you going not that way oh change mind all right cool but dan yo he was in good spirits smiling in the hospital bed couldn't figure out where to put his fucking hands though I was nervous. I was fucking flying on my way to the hospital. I had to call a friend to uh, to calm me down. She talked to me the whole way to the, the ER. Because this is what I got, Danny. This is what I fucking got. Okay, wait, gotta give you a little bit of backstory. Danny was in my house. Um, I got fucking fed up messing with my windscreen. So Danny did it for me, he put it on, and I was like, oh, wicked cool, you know, like strong, independent woman here. But, you know, I can I can take the help sometimes. Plus, I didn't want to fucking do it. It sucked. So he put my windscreen on, and then I introduced him to uh, motorcycle polish. I don't know if you guys have ever used it, but that shit's the bomb. I use it on my truck, too. Um, and he was like, what's well, this? And I was like, it's motorcycle polish. And he was like, are you fucking kidding me? And I was like, yeah. He was like, is that why your bike is always so fucking pretty and shiny? And I was like, well, yeah, part of it. Um, you know, the other part is my bike's just fucking awesome. <laughs> so, um, so he gets the polish out and he's going over his R6, you know, polishing the fuck out of it on a Saturday afternoon. So Dan polishes his bike and he's so stoked because it's fucking glistening in the sun. It was a beautiful fucking Saturday. And, uh... So he loads up on his bike. He, you know, he's got all his gear on except his gloves. I didn't notice that he wasn't wearing his gloves. I don't know that I would have said anything though, because, 
you know, Dan's his own man, he can do what he wants. Ha, did you see what I did there? I rhymed. But uh, I'm not a controlling girlfriend. I might have suggested it lightly, but who knows? But I didn't notice that he wasn't wearing his gloves. And uh, so I didn't, you know, whatever. And he was all pretty riding away on his motorcycle. And happy and smiling and la di da tra la fucking la So I'm sitting down, I'm working on my computer a little bit. And uh, Dan calls me. And it's not normal for Dan to call me. Usually we'll just shoot each other texts or, you know, see each other. But he called me, like, pretty soon after he left my house. So I was like, whatever, you know, I'd pick up for him anyways. But that kind of was a little, you know, warning that something was going on, that he called me so quickly. So I picked up and I was like, hey, babe, what's up? And he goes, hey, babe. The fucking true Danny fashion. Um, yeah, babe, uh, I won't, I won't be texting for a while. I was like, oh, okay, why not? What's going on? Um, well, uh, I kind of got in a nasty motorcycle accident. Dead fucking silence. Dead fucking silence. All right. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I don't realize, but I hadn't said anything. He goes, Laura, you there? Yeah, 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 I'm here. He's like, um, I'm in the back of an ambulance right now. Laura, you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. You going to the ER? Yeah. Do you want me to come? No, 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 it's not so bad. I, I think I broke my foot. All right. He said he had to go, I guess, because they were loading him up on the stretcher and all kinds of shit. And uh, so I hung up, and I fucking went into crazy mode. I put some fucking clothes on, and I jumped in my truck, and I called my friend. And uh, she talked me through it the whole way. She had me laughing about other shit. I mean, I was still thinking about Danny, but uh, it was a lot easier with my friend. I was tearing down the road, but not as bad, ha you know, if, if she hadn't been on the phone with me. So yeah, Dan's sitting in the hospital, arms are fucking waving, can't find anywhere to put them. Shit everywhere. His clothes were shredded. He uh, he asked about his triscuits or fucking wheat thins or some shit that he had in his backpack when he was riding. Like seriously, true Dan fashion. How are my triscuits? I checked his triscuits in his bag. They were fine. They weren't crushed. I would have given him some, only he wasn't allowed to eat at that point because they weren't sure if he needed surgery. And yeah, that 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 was the whole thing and. And uh, come to find out, you know, he broke both of his feet, and he had uh, mummy bandages on his hands and and stuff. And they had him on morphine. Well, uh, the fucked up part, the most fucked up part, like nobody deserves this shit, right? Was that um, he was he was laying in the hospital bed, right? And they were like, all right, well, we're gonna discharge you, and you know getting his paperwork together or whatever and I'm like all right cool the kid's on morphine he's got uh, two broken feet you know he's got no fucking skin left on his hands nice towel hey how you doing um, no skin left on his fucking hands <clears throat> and, and the nurses come over I swear to fucking god they handed Danny crutches the look on his face was like it flushed his face flushed it was pure like terror and confusion like what the fuck am i supposed to do with those crutches i don't have working feet and i don't have working hands not to mention he's on morphine he's high as a fucking kite oh mercury go so like when dan realized that they were serious he took the crutches and they smiled and and uh he <laughs> he got up and they walked into the the door of his hospital room and the nurses were standing there waving like bye have a good night and there were hands and feet and crutches all over the fucking place he didn't know what to do with what it was all like what hurt less to use was the decision he had to make on morphine it was terrible but me being me thought well you know these these hospital bills are going to be kind of fucking expensive, right? Maybe, just maybe, I should trip him because I know. I work in the medical field. I know that if you're on morphine, you have to be wheeled out of the hospital in a wheelchair. What the fuck is this? Is that That's a tight jig, sir. So, okay, me being me, I'm thinking, 
you know, they have, they're supposed to be putting them in a wheelchair and they didn't. So I was like, really seriously consider tripping him. I mean, okay, yeah, it might've hurt for a minute, but he was already on morphine. So how bad can it have hurt, right? But tripping him in the hospital on morphine when he's not supposed to be walking, you know, he might've been mad for a little while, but I'm sure he would have forgiven me because then, you know, it would, it would have alleviated some of these hospital bills. I don't know. I don't know if I'm a bad girlfriend because I didn't do it or if I'm a bad girlfriend because I thought about it. I don't know. Give me your vote. There's a lot of people out today. Ooh, I want to give her a cheeseburger. Yeah, I don't think she'd eat it. She'd probably just nibble on it. Nibble, nibble, and pretend to eat it. Nibble, nibble. Yeah, poor Dan. When he got to the, uh, the front of the hospital where we pulled the car up, he, um, he, he, he looked exhausted just from that, like, 100-yard walk on crutches with fucked up hands and fucked up feet. So nobody deserves that shit. It was funny to watch, only, only now because I'm looking back on it. Okay, I giggled a little when it happened, but... But um, I asked him later, you know, I went through that story with him and he said he totally would have forgiven me because those medical bills, man, you know, let's just sit in the middle of the street. That's cool. That's what happened from my perspective. Um, after that, you know, that night he, uh, I went over and watched a movie with him. He fell asleep because he was on all kinds of drugs and shit. But, um, but I went over and watched a movie with him and, and uh, you know, hung out with him a little bit. He had to stay with the parental units that night. 